the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Los Angeles Rams and the Detroit Lions next on Madden Football. The seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. Today, we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here, as it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Detroit Lions. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kick off straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. Jack Fox has us ready to go, and we are underway here at Ford Field. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They're brought out by a man now in his 15th NFL season, one of the most productive passers in league history, and a former Super Bowl champion, Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick. Throughout his career, he's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. 25 yards that time. From the 50, Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. So many offense want to include their running backs into their passing offense and be able to swing the ball out or check it down to them. But sometimes those guys are just not as comfortable catching the ball as they are running it. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. Here's Stafford. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. So here are the Lions now coming out for their opening drive. And they're brought out by a former number one overall pick coming off one of his best seasons ever in year seven of his career, now in year eight, Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. He stiff arms him. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. 
Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. From the 50, it's golf. That's caught. It's Sam Laporta. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. From the 44-yard line, here's second and three. Now a play fake, and it's golf. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 25-yard line. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets them a new set of downs. down here's the run with Montgomery just a yard on the pickup there and it'll bring up a second and nine play action it's golf he's got right on the short throw and this is going to be another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Rams 14. Give them 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. A nice chunk play from the tight end position, and it illustrates the cohesiveness that he and his quarterback have. Both saw the extra defender doubling him up, and they still combine for the completion and big gain. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Jordan Fuller there to take him down. Second down and eight. Here's Goff. He's got his man. It's caught for a lion touchdown. Josh Reynolds, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Lions will jump on top of the game's first score here this afternoon. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. Michael Badgley on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Lions lead 7-0. So that drive takes them down the field in eight plays. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. On first down, Stafford here. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle it, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. They'll say no gain on the play there and now it'll be third down. Now it's Stafford. Pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities.
opportunities, but that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Fielded at the 33. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Lions will take over. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown. They got the stop. And now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early strangle. And that's caught inside the 30. And he's brought down after a very nice game. It's a gain of 34. We always talk about the guy who paid off the play, don't we? Got who caught it or ran it. But how about the elements that go into making a big play? This one in particular, able to scan the field. Pocket held up nicely. What a terrific job by the offensive line. The route well run, and the football right on the money. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Short pass here taken in by Laporta. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Zero hesitation that time. That was get ball, throw ball. Yeah, turn into a smoke route. If you see the coverage off the receiver, doesn't matter whether you call it a run or not. Just take the ball, get it out to him. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Going up the gun, Montgomery. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Able to get the one yard he needed, but nothing more. My high school football coach was very fond of saying, you've got to meet force with force. And on a short yardage running play, that's what you're going to encounter. And how about them picking up the first down on that one? Now golf on first down. It's complete to Williams. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring up second down. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. Breaks a tackle. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Nothing too fancy just to carry up the middle, but a successful carry up the middle against this 3-4 defense. And to be able to do that, what do you have to control? The nose guard, right? Got to be able to move him. Otherwise, you're not getting anything up the middle. Nice job by the center. Got a little help from one of his friends playing guard. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone, but that's where you appreciate this from your head coach. He's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing, and as a player, that means an awful lot. Montgomery is into the end zone. Touchdown, Lions. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of a tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group, they tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. Badgley on for the extra point. And it's good. And they have jumped out here to a quick 14-0 first quarter lead. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Now the Rams offense, they work their way back on the field. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14-0 already as they come up first and 10.
They start the drive on the ground. It's Williams. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 29-yard line. Second and a couple. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. One thing I do know that offensive linemen like, they like a guy who's carrying the ball that will take what is blocked. Not try and create a big play, maybe take a loss, not try and go where the blocking isn't. But if it's just all that's there and you just put your head and your shoulders down and get that, you get the respect of the big guys up front. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw here, hauled in by Cup. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Out of the gun, Stafford. And under the Lions' pressure, he's brought down. To get in there and drop him. Well, when you're down a couple of scores like this, CD, you can't afford too many plays that go in the wrong direction like that one. Yeah, when you take a good look at it broadly, sacks are better than giving up an interception. But where they are on the scoreboard, they've got to get rid of all of that and just create positive plays for themselves in order to have a chance. So now Stafford and the Rams, after the sack, well, they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he is caught. And they work this well upfield across the 45. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. A couple of first downs on the drive already, as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. And that one complete downfield to come. And down to the 20, he'll go before heading out of bounds. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Seems like all the fireworks in this first quarter have been on the other sideline, but here they're saying, hey, we've got some explosive guys on our side too. And that's a big play in a game that's looking like it might be full of big plays. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. They go back to the ground with Williams. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. So from the 17, here's second and seven. To throw is Stafford. He'll drop this down to Williams, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll leave him with a third and two. Now some movement before the snap, and we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. Now they nab the rookie there for the five-yard penalty. So much going through his head. You know it just has to be, right? All of his assignments and realizing every game he plays, one of the better players in the league will be opposite him. Throwing on third down, Stafford. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Now Brett Maher for the field goal try. This will be a 34-yard attempt. The kick by Maher is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. So that kick gives them their first points of the game, CD. And it comes on the third drive, but hopefully for them, that's a spark that gets that offense going. Yeah, and I would say if you're the offensive play caller, as you look at your sheet, 
You're trying to find that part on there that unlocks bigger points. They've struggled with a few drives so far. Finally got three out of it. How do you find the end zone? That's what he's searching for now. After the main field goal, Marr back out there to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there was never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. As they've got it with a second down and two coming up. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and rake it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. It's been a rough go on the ground throughout the entire game, but after a run like that, they may have found the spark to get their offense kick-started. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, here's Goff. And his throw here is incomplete. You can tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Second and 10. To throw is Goff. That's to the tight end reporter. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. On first down, it's gone. He's got it to Williams. And he is across midfield from 149 to the other 49, a gain of just two. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. On second down, Montgomery. And he's going to be stopped up at about the 47-yard line. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Golf. And that'll be caught by St. Brown. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll bring up fourth down. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. Here's a second and eight. 
Stafford now to throw. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Now Stafford. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground incomplete. Here's Ethan Evans now. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and it will be first and 10 as they take over. You see David Montgomery heading back out to begin the drive. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter, been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable, and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here, because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, You've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. On first down, gone. That's complete to the portal. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Goff now looks to throw. Complete to right. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. So from the 22, here's second and two. They'll fake the handoff. Now go off. He'll get this underneath to Montgomery. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And off comes to Montgomery. And he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. A tackle that time by Akello Witherspoon. Second and five. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. Seventh play of the drive, fourth coming on third and eight. Goff now to throw. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way, a dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Badgley's kick is good, and they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to three. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32-yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick, 
But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, it just has a different feel, doesn't it? A different it? feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I talk to. They always say, if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Back to throw, Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. And Higby going to have a Rams first down as the tackle made up around the 33-yard line. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. To about the 35, second down. This is second and eight. Now Stafford. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. Well, the goal is to get back into this game. The offense is certainly moving in the wrong direction. This is certainly a case where one team needs big splash plays right now. But unfortunately, it's the other team that's getting them. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack, and they're staring up at a third and long. Looking to throw. Open man is Higby, the tight end. So the completion good for just three. And that's going to make it fourth down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Ethan Evans on now to punt. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return, and that will come the offense as they take over. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The all-everything defensive tackle, Aaron Donald, the one who made the play there. What happened there? Was that just a missed assignment on the O-line? It certainly felt like it, but also the speed of the play. When you talk about defensive end, they want to be ahead of the clock, don't they? They want to be upfield, making plays on every snap. How about his agility there to run that one down? Here's a quick hitch round and the throw complete. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. Third and seven now. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here's third and seven. Out of the gun. Gone. Trouble and he's taken down. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. On fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. no return 
return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and taken. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Rams will go on offense here for the first and ten. Stafford on first down. Oh, and that is incomplete. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. On second and ten, Stafford. Throw left side, complete to come. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Out of the gun, Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Stafford. Open man right side is cut complete. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range down just shy of the 20. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Throwing again at Stafford. And that will to the right side and incomplete. And their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and ten. Now it's Stafford. That'll be caught by Cup. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Throwing at Stafford. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Detroit was up for the challenge through the air. They force a fourth down. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. The kick by Maher is good. And a second field goal here gets him back with an 11 now. It's 17-6. to six. So it was fourth down and one in the red zone, but they elect to take just the three. And I'm a little bit surprised that that's exactly what they decided to do. I kind of thought that they would go for it in that situation. But sometimes I'm sure you just think to yourself, take the three points, put them in your pocket, and move on. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 24. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, 
All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports halftime report. The Lions got a very strong performance out of their quarterback, Jared Goff. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double digit lead. All right, coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. in the lead and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. Khalif Raymond now. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28 yard line. And the Lions getting set to go on offense to start the third. And Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it. But I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities. And I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Now a second and six. A shotgun snap for gone. Got his man, it's Williams. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Two catches in the first half, now he's got a third here and it's good for a first. That's another beautiful throw right there. It gets it to his man right in stride and I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm, they've been sharp, they've been on it and they pick up another first down there. Meanwhile, Goff's throw complete there to St. Brown. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Two yards to go, second down. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. Into the hands of Williams across the formation. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams 26. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. A give. This is Montgomery. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. From the 24 now, here's the second and eight. On the ground, it's Montgomery. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. They give those two yards right back, and now they're looking at a third and ten. Oftentimes, when you see a running back get bunched up in the backfield, it's usually because the defensive tackle is eating up blockers for others to make the play. Not in this case. Throwing on third, golf. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And the lead is up to 18 now. 
So that drives seven plays in length, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Now the attention turns back to the Rams' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their halftime hole now even deeper, and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. A good pick up there of 22. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do, where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. Now that run, that's exactly why you stay with the running game. You don't abandon it totally. You stick with it, keep telling your guys to stay motivated, and they found a crease on that play. On first down, it's Stafford. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Cup. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. From the gun, here's Stafford. That's caught, Puka Nakua. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 24-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Off of play action, here's Stafford. A throw out wide, going to be incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Now a second and ten. Stafford now to throw. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 31. Derek Barnes. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop it. Well, this offense has already been forced to settle for field goals on their drives earlier, so this is not a welcome sign here. Indeed, it is not, and they certainly hope it's not a sign for the entire game because they know they've got to be able to sustain drives all the way through. Pick up those guys rushing the quarterback and give himself a chance. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Puka Nakula, 31 yards. And the Rams get a bit closer. So a very important first drive of the third quarter, Charles, and safe to say, a much-needed touchdown. Which leads to the question, where was this in the first half? Because if they'd had a few more drives like that, they wouldn't be in this situation. But that is the kind of drive that sends a message to the other side. We're going to be here, and we're going to battle you to the end. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And that makes it 24-13.
Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Veteran Jared Goff back out with his Lions offense. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route too. Targets and finds Reynolds once more. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Montgomery and they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever second and ten this defense could use a few more plays like that right now it certainly could but think about it from an offense's perspective right now they've got a lead but they don't want to throttle down too much and stall themselves still want to move at a nice pace now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end the result, only four yards there on the play. And it brings up third and five now. Golf. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. point by Badgley up and good and the lead is up to 18 now The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Taking it at about the one. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. L.A. set to take over again on offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to 2-2 Atwell there, and it's third down. to throw Stafford it's incomplete took a shot couldn't connect how about 
some applause for the defense there. They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Here comes the Rams punter now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. That's pulled in at the 32. We get a look at Amon Ross St. Brown as his offense readies for the next drive. Good day for him so far here in the third quarter. He's hit pay dirt once, over 100 yards, but hey, it's the third quarter. He's thinking, I want more, right? He wants more, and it just increases the confidence of his team because every play he makes, that means his quarterback is really feeling good about throwing the football. Probably feels like he can't throw an incomplete pass when he throws it to him right now. Yeah, he's looked really, really sharp. If this defense wants to stay in this ball game, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try to make some plays in their backfield. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. The Rams calling on their nickel set here defensively for third down. Out of the gun, Goff. Oh, first mistake for him in the ball game as it's intercepted. Picked up by John Johnson. And he'll take this across midfield and inside the 45. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. Pass complete there to Nakua. Still on his feet. Touchdown, L.A. Puka Nakula with now his second touchdown of this third quarter. And the Rams take the force turnover on defense and convert it into six points. He has his two scores, but still a sizable deficit in this game. Do you have him in fantasy football this week? <laughs> Unfortunately, no. Uh, it's too bad, right? That would have been big points. But he is really trying to rally his team as best he can. Things are not going as well the rest of the way for them. That's why they're down with this deficit. He might need to score a couple of more times to give them a chance. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. He's got right on the short throw. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. Now a give running left with Montgomery. They'll get it across the 35. It'll be second down. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Now a play fake, and it's gone. 
They'll let this go deep for St. Brown. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So a costly penalty yardage-wise as that'll move the football down to the spot of the foul. And what the officials are looking for in these situations, whether you're playing the man or the ball, and if you're playing the man, you get a lot less leeway in terms of what's going to happen at the end of the play. But if you're looking for the football, it's less likely to draw the flag. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tough for guys trying to get open. seconds of this third quarter. In order to lead in a game, you're going to get plenty of contributors, but that's his second touchdown catch of this game. He's one of the key guys in this one. And you better believe he'll be looking for the hat trick here as this one continues to go. Badgley on for the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive, four plays, and the end result, a Detroit touchdown. kick this one away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Stafford on first down. And that one complete downfield to Cup. Now inside the 25, Cooper Cup, touchdown! are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is, but not so easy to execute. Starting on your own 20, you want something to kickstart your drive and get it off to a nice start. They went for the whole thing and got it. That's a great way to send a message to the opposing team. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score of the final play of the third quarter. now to kick this one away. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. So here come the Lions now. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. 50 yards rushing for him now to this point. A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. Three yards to go on second down, and they've got three tight ends out there. Jumbo set. Montgomery on the counter. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Third 
The Lions on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. Here it's third and two. Goff now to throw. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. That's not the first time they've looked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hook up again on third down to keep this drive alive. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Montgomery. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Didn't get to the sticks, but that's an ideal carry there on first down, isn't it? I mean, now you're second and one. Although, you know, in the NFL, even if you picked up the first down, I don't think it's a big difference because the clock doesn't stop. Yeah, not like college. Right. If it's college football, you want to – second and one is probably better than picking up the first down because in college football, the clock stops with every first down and actually aids the defense in that situation. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The coverage was good, but I just wonder – if they absolutely fooled the quarterback on that play, I think he was expecting something else. Ended up with nowhere to throw the football successfully. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Now golf. It's Williams on the catch. And he's going to have the Lions first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. They didn't need much. They didn't get much, but what they did get was enough for a first down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Goff. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. It'll go as a gain of four, and it's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. From the 46-yard line, a second down and six. To the air again. Golf. Got St. Brown running the quick slam here. And St. Brown going to have the Lions first down as he'll be brought down at the 37. Nine yards that time. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. Now a run with Montgomery. And he'll take this down to the 33. Second down and six now. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Big boys down there in the trenches and a nice play to stop them cold. Nothing there. Yeah, when you talk about big boys, you're talking about those defensive tackles, those nose tackles. They're not just big, they're immense. And what a big time play there. Here's Goff. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. down here's the run with Montgomery and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage officially it's a one yard loss that's going to bring up second and 11 and that's exactly what offenses try to avoid by using motion and throwing different formations up they hate when he can draw a bead on the play get a running start and make a big play behind the line of scrimmage as he did just there on second down here's golf down inside the 10, and finally taken down at the four-yard line. 
Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. Well, normally, you might say, start running the football. You've got the lead here in the fourth quarter. But the way that they've passed it with such success, I don't know, maybe keep throwing it. Yeah, I think you brought up something that goes against conventional wisdom, right? In this stage of the game, you would think you would switch to a running attack. But you're exactly right. They've thrown it so well throughout the game. And trusting this quarterback, I think he continued to do so. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches used to say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best power running play with my best back right now. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Not too many missteps in the red zone thus far. He was going for his fifth touchdown pass. His man couldn't shake free there, but boy, you know he's going to take another shot before this one's over. Yeah, exactly, because you know three is good, four is excellent. <laughs> you get five, that's a whale of a game. Now Goff on third and goal. There's the Portman. He's got it. Touchdown, Lions. On the touchdown grab, and the Lions have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The football going back to the Rams now. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, that's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, so there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Stafford. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. The Rams on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third and 10. Now it's Stafford. He's got a man complete. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. What heck of a third down conversion. 33 yards. And the Rams first down. The big play has him all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. Stafford looks to throw again. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. To throw is Stafford. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Line of scrimmage again the 37 as they line up second and 10. 
A shotgun snap for Stafford. Gets this into the hands of the tight end, Higby. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 22-yard line. A new set of downs after a strong pickup of 16 yards. Now a play fake it at Stafford. Rush coming and he's taken down. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. We all know he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league, but definitely not today. His team trailing by multiple touchdowns and a late sack. Just a parting gift from the defense for him to take back to the locker room with him. From the gun, here's Stafford. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Down several scores and playing behind the chains is not the way to have success in this one. Right now, if you're the offensive line, your big concern, protecting your quarterback, and giving a chance to try and throw something downfield to pick up the needed yardage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Cooper Cup, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Well, they needed three scores to have any chance. There's the first of the three as they get into the end zone. Yeah, Brandon, I think that our guys at Next Gen Stats in charge of the win probability are probably saying your chances still aren't great. But now, you still got more than three minutes to go. You got to focus on the task at hand, which is going to be getting the football back as quickly as possible. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Lions are able to cover this one up. And that's why you have your hand team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics would tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Going up the gun, Montgomery. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Running left, Montgomery. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Rams are going to take possession of the turnover on downs. 
So now Stafford and the Rams down by 11, a minute 50 to play. Now the fourth down stop, the first of a series of events that will need to break their way, but bottom line, they're still alive. Back to throw, Stafford. He's got Atwell, that's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Decent start to the drive there. Of course, they need the touchdown, two-point conversion, and a field goal. Yeah, those guys are into it. How about the guys on the sidelines? You see the coaches signaling, all the personnel groups up on the sideline, ready to go in and out of the game. They've got to condense their time now in order to try and get back into it. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. A two timeouts still remaining, but scoring quickly, a must. It's first and ten. Here's Stafford. And let's face it, this defense has had its share of struggles all game long, and they know that they can put it all behind them if they defend well here in the two-minute drill. Excellent coverage right there to force the incompletion. Another try, second and ten now. Now Stafford. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. Here we go, first and goal. Stafford now to throw. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, you get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. So certainly some importance to this one now. After the touchdown, they could get this down to a field goal with a two-point conversion. Now Stafford. And he will get into the end zone as a two-point conversion is successful. And the lead is down to a field goal here in the fourth. So they got their touchdown, now down a field goal. Here comes the onside kick. And the Lions are able to cover this one up. The risk reward of the onside kick, when you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything, because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. And they'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. So they come up on second down. If they can get another run like we just saw, it would likely put an end to this thing. Gibbs straight ahead. And he will have a Lions first down, and that's the one that should seal a victory.
And the Lions will take the knee here with victory in the cards. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, but he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational.